All right, guys. So in this video, we're going to set up the new spiked halo. Um, before we get started, a couple things that I would like you to have knocked out first, just to make everything nice and clean and easy. You will need VRC Fury. Uh, if you don't have it, it's going to be on the Gumroad page as well as a link down below. Next up, you will need Poyomi. Um, the version that I'm using is 8.1.155. So you'll need that or newer. So if you have 9.0, that'll work perfectly fine. And lastly, of course, you will need the asset package. Um, so once you've imported the asset package, you're going to get two new folders in the Meccano assets folder. One will be custom menu. This is where I'm going to be putting the menus now on. It's going to be standardized. Next up, we will also have the spike Halo package right here. Now, this is going to be one of the hardest installs ever. So let's say you want to install the full package itself. You drag and drop this on your avatar and you're done. That's all. Bye. Later. See ya. Uh, if you want to make it look nicer or not look nicer, but if you want it to look a certain sort of way, um, let's say you want it to be, if this is not the same height that you want it to be, if you want it rotated or whatever, what you'll need to do is locate Halo VRC Fury dot full, expand it down, and you'll see mesh, bone, and menu. Okay, so we're going to click on the Halo bone. Now, let's say you want it tilted a little bit to the um, right. So this is, this is the avatar's right side, so we're going to tilt it a little bit to the right. There you go. That's it. You want it to be moved to the right a little bit and tilted. Uh, first, you're going to want to move it so you don't mess up the axes here. So we're going to move it and then we're going to rotate it. There you go. Okay. Uh, what this VRC Fury does is it will merge your FX for you. It'll add the menu itself. Also merge the parameters as well as um, locate the head bone based on the, because it's a humanoid rigging, it'll locate the head uh, bone itself and then it'll put this bone on top of there so you don't have to worry about anything else so uh, we go ahead and save and you could export now or if you'd like to test it go ahead if you have gesture manager installed just go ahead and hit play and then we're going to switch back to scene right here so you can see the the uh crown maintained its position right we're going to go into pose mode start posing and just to show that it's bound to the head we're going to click on the neck head bang a little bit and there you go so of course this halo has fizz bones um because everything needs fizz bones everything needs a jiggle next up we're going to go ahead and test some of the features out so um the main difference between the basic and the full is with the full you have outline control so I'll go ahead and show you right now. We're going to go to the expressions, accessories. This is where all my accessories will now be located now on. So whenever you get one of my packages, it's automatically going to go here. And as you can see, here's the spiked halo. And of course, here's toggle. Then we have hue control. Everyone needs those RGBs. You can actually affect the brightness. So by brightness, it means the texture color. This is not a mission control. Um, this is actually the, the color of the texture is being ramped up or lowered on the brightness. So you can see right here, it's kind of a pale gold now. And if we want it to be darker, we can almost like a dark green now. Okay. And then we have, of course, RGBs. Everyone needs RGBs. Now you're going to notice initially there's nothing going on there. And that's because it's multiplicative. So we go to rainbow speed, ramp it up a little bit, and there you go. You got your little hue. Now, it may come off weird if you turn the brightness down. Um, It almost looks like it immediately shifts. And that's because certain color ranges in between colors don't come off that well when it's darker. So if we put this back up. You can see it's shifting through just fine. No problems. Uh, Let's go ahead and show you top speed. That's top speed right there. And then we're going to go to the outline options. 
Of course, we have the options for white, black, and color. These are all buttons. You don't have to toggle them. You just press the button. It'll go to the appropriate outline. Now we're going to go ahead and test the hue on the outline. There we go. Uh, but you know what? Hue is a little boring. Let's get that RGB going. So we're going to turn on the rainbow and let's ramp this boy up. So now we got the RGB base texture and RGB halo outline. Now, so this folder itself will not be located with the basic package. So let's go ahead and install the basic. So once again, we're going to go through that difficult process of dragging the basic prefab over. And then let's say this is a little too high. Once again, expand the prefab, locate the bone, drag it down. There you go. Now we'll go ahead and hit play just so I can show you the difference between the two. Go back to scene, click on gesture manager, avatar pops back up. Now again, one in expressions, accessories, bike halo. So you, you see right here, the outline control is gone. So if you want to change the outline color, there is nothing available for that. Okay. This is just for the limited version of, let's say you're on a budget for your parameters, right? This is the version you would pick. Now that doesn't mean you can't have whatever outline color you want. So let's go ahead and let me show you the process of making an outline color because maybe you don't want yellow. Maybe you're going to set it to a, a teal or a purple or something, right? So what we're going to do is we'll go into the materials, right? Here's the outline black. Here's outline white. And right in the center is outline color. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll duplicate the outline color. Well, if you want black or white, you can just drag those materials over. But if you want something specific, here's the outline color that we just duplicated. You can see right here, there's one. You want to rename it to your own little custom. Go ahead. Right. Once you've duplicated and you drag the duplicate onto it, we're going to unlock the shader. And then pick the color that you want. So there's our green. Okay. I think after you've done that and you selected your color, go ahead and lock that bad boy up and you're good to go. So for the basic version, it will have that. Now, uh, of course, I'm not going to ship two different outline colors. So we'll go ahead and delete that. We'll set its default to black. Okay. So that's the one you guys will have by default when you get this package. It's going to be a default black outline. So again, once again, if you want to change that color, just duplicate, drag it on, unlock, modify the duplicate version. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put this bad boy back on there and that's everything. So if you have any questions, concerns, reach out to me, uh, my discord, I respond relatively pretty quick. Um, if you leave a comment down below, I'll try and reach out to you as quickly as possible. Once again, if you have any questions, concerns, just reach out to me. I have, I'm happy to help. Um, let me know if this DRC Fury is the way to go, because I, I think I'm going to work with this a bit more. I'm curious, is this going to be the big factor that makes people decide to pick up these assets more? Because it's a lot easier to just install, right? Once again, if you want to switch, just drag it on. And there you go. Anyways, guys. Take care. Love you. Thank you for your, your support, man. I'm so happy to have you guys here.